This is James Calm, coming to you from West 25th Street, Marlboro Gallery. We're going to go up and take a look at Stephen Charles' opening of recent paintings. Let's check it out. This is the Stephen Charles show upstairs. space. Well, there's Michael Anderson. We'll be having a show here, I guess, next spring. Hey, Michael. This is my wife, too. We can't come over and get a picture with us together. There's the happy couple. When is your show coming up? December. December. Are you videoing us? No, I'm not. This is, this is actually made out of soap. The last YouTube thing was great that you did. You know, that was so cool. People are still watching it. Stephen uh, got his start in Williamsburg. He was showing with Pierogi 2000 for a couple of shows. Now he's uh, moved up to the big time here at Marlboro. His work has gotten much more decorative. Smith's Bowl 2007, enamel and modeling paste on canvas, 8 by 6 inches. It's got a very interesting process that he use, uses. It's involved with the obsessive dripping and re-dripping and flowing of paint. That's when the paint is actually dripped off and formed little stalactites. He's also gotten very decorative with his use of materials. He started using gold and silver leaf. And this piece really shows a lot of the, the metal foils. Almost makes me think of a Gustav Klimt, or maybe a Byzantine. This is a very impressive piece. This is titled The Sun for Anne, 2007. Seven enamel and wood on canvas. We've got a little higher contrast than in some of his other pieces. This is titled Get Off the Cross, The Wood is Needed. Kind of a nice color wheel here. This piece is called Blan Waffle 2007. Let's take a look at some of the detail on this. There's more gold leaf. People have described this work as obsessive painterly, and in certain ways it does relate to some of the psychedelic art. The Apple. Six inches. It's almost 
just looks paisley. Here is the biggest piece of the show. This piece must be about 18 feet long. Copper leaf. These actually are paintings that probably are better observed at 18 inches than at 18 feet. This is called Grad Blappa, 2007. Looks like a gator hide. Oh, they've got a beautiful terrace out here. It's cool. I love you. I know we're talking to the artist. Stephen Charles, why don't you tell us a little bit about your show? How long have you been working on the uh, the exhibition? Uh, this represents four years of work. Four years. Four years of work. Four years of full-time work. <laughs> Are you still living in Williamsburg, or have you have you moved? I live in Williamsburg still. I love Williamsburg. It's outstanding. Now, was there a particular theme or something that you started out with when you were uh, beginning the ideas for the show, or you just sort of let things flow? Uh, I don't really work from themes or sources. I just kind of go. So I ordered a bunch of panels and got a bunch of paint and just got a big studio and got started. And haven't started, stopped since. Started dripping Actually, paint stopped, and slopping paint around. I stopped Monday. I turned in the last painting Monday. So now when, I'm finished. Thank when, you. when did you decide to start using the gold leaf and the silver leaf? I think it's beautiful. Um, I did one or two pieces about six years ago, but this time I really wanted to mess with it more. Like use it a lot. Because I like the way the leaf is speaks tradition and the enamel is so new so putting them together I just wanted to see what that would look like curiosity congratulations the show looks fantastic thank you sir James Cobb it is a pleasure to meet you thank you I go to all your websites I love seeing all the artists not I might be on it so thanks thanks so that was Stephen Charles and this is this is quite a prestigious uh, accomplishment for him to have gone from a little, little gallery in Williamsburg to probably one of the most successful art galleries in the world. Let's check out the veranda. If you're interested, there are probably still spaces available upstairs. This is Knopsel Spoon. I wish Stephen would get us some simpler names. I can barely pronounce them. You own that one? Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to comment for the calm report? Yeah. My, uh, when I bought that, my father laughed. Said it looked like a subway poster, a subway man. But uh, that's some subway. <laughs> and I just called him and told him that it was on display at a gallery. So. And what's your name? Harvey Sawikin. Harvey. Harvey Sawikin. 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 Congratulations! This is quite a uh, quite an impressive opening, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I love it. I think it's good. We're gonna buy it. We're gonna stall. Here's another beautiful piece. Titled Icemer 20 by 20. We can show you some of the lumps on here. He's got little eyeballs. This is James Tom reporting on the Stephen Charles exhibition at Marlboro, Chelsea.